I got into sketching about three years ago when I stopped being able to do a lot of physical stuff because of my ankle and um, found like so much passion for it. And then uh, that just like faded away when I got too serious about it. I started taking myself, like trying to take it really seriously and then found out that as soon as I did that, uh, I just didn't like it anymore. And so I kind of killed it for myself by trying to make it a real thing. So I'm trying to practice the reverse of that and just doodling and sketching and doing whatever with it because art is not serious and you know it doesn't have to be any particular thing. It doesn't have to look any particular way. It's art. So I'm going to um, spend some time later today hopefully working on that and I'll show you guys some of my art. Yeah, I'm sweaty and gross. So um, here's a painting I just did for this room, just super simple on acrylic. And this room is our guest room, and here is my anxiety attack of a wall waiting to happen. It's kind of a twist on something I saw probably on Pinterest. I don't know, I don't really go on Pinterest that much, but it looked like a good idea at the time. It's kind of crazy and not very relaxing, but I gave it a shot. That's another painting I did for the room. But the reason we are up here, oh, by the way, that's my favorite quote of all time. I just really like that. But the reason we are up here is because my art book is hidden up here. Well, that's a little bit of dust. I probably shouldn't show that on camera. Oh well. So here we have kind of my sketchbook. I started in, uh, 20, oh, I guess 2016. Um, but here are some of them. Uh, the beginning ones I kind of took off of ideas I saw online and just kind of put my own take on them, but um, Kind of like Zentangle Animals, if that makes any sense. This was a drawing I did for a CrossFit gym I used to be a part of. Probably my favorite drawing, horse I made. We have a happy little owl friend. One of the later ones I have in the style, just a kangaroo and her baby. These are ones I didn't love how they turned out. This was a um, commission I did, and this was when I realized commissions weren't really my thing, because this is when I realized it like, was a lot of pressure, you know? So now we're moving into like more graphite drawings, um, pencil drawings. Uh, just kind of a girl. I went up practice shading. Probably my favorite drawing I've done um, off of a picture. I just wanted to like express what it felt like to be like held. This was actually the first pencil drawing I really, really did. Just kind of working on like shading and stuff like that. This one I called the tear. I like just playing with shading. You'll notice I don't actually have eyes in any of my drawings because I'm not super good at them. But uh, I kind of like doing like half pictures and stuff like that. This was another Zentangle kind of fun one of just like a city skyline. Happy little pineapple. And these are just two kind of fun paintings I did. A farmhouse and of a tulip. Okay, so um, this one is one that I did for my husband as a present. Home is wherever I'm with you. Every part of the world is a big heart because I'm a sap. Then over here above our fish tank, kind of have just like a mermaidy painting. Then we have some of the... Um, and tangly ones I've done framed. Okay, now in the closet, I know I have a bunch of like old paintings I did too. Okay, so I got into acrylic painting three Christmases ago. I thought, I know, I'll uh, just like paint little gifts for everybody. And that's one of the ways I discovered that like, oh, I really like art. Like this is really helpful for me. So um, this was the first acrylic painting I did as an adult. I decided to keep it instead of giving it away. Just kind of three. Oh my god, I almost called them cranberries. Gah! Drugs are messing with my brain, guys. Cardinals, uh, just sitting on a branch. Here's, uh, not sure what the idea here was, but uh, I felt expressing it, like expressing it, so I did. Aww, this is me and my puppies. Sadie and Monkey sitting next to me in a backpack. Apparently at sunset, not that I need to explain art, but still. Uh, yeah, okay. So I did this one for my mom for Christmas a couple years ago, and then I took it back from her because I was like, I don't like it, I'm sorry, I don't like how it turned out. And then I never finished it and never gave it back to her, and I'm a terrible daughter. That's what we can learn from this painting. I don't know if you can tell with this one, but like, it's the first acrylic painting I ever did with like texture, 
Um, so if you like touch it, which you're not supposed to do with paintings, but whatever, it's my painting. Um, it's like very textured. Uh, so it was different, totally not my style, but it was fun to do. Ah, this was another one of those um, painting with a twist ones that like you drink wine and you paint. This was one that I did with Brian. He was so kind to come painting with me. Art is not his thing, but he did super good. Minimalist flowers. Yeah, I kind of lied earlier. Uh, last but not least, this was the first acrylic painting I really did. I did this at Painting with a Twist with my friend Maggie at, I think, her birthday party. No, no, it was something else. I was like, oh, this is really fun. I should do this. And then that's where I got the idea to paint people Christmas presents. That's what happened. Okay, last but not least, we kind of have my uh, unfinished sketchbook or just basic ideas sketch of Chester from Lincoln Park that never happened. Happy little elephant friend. That was a coloring book page I attempted to design once. Tattoo design that my best friend actually has on her forearm now because she is awesome. Oh, and then this was the uh, preliminary sketch for the forearm tattoo that I have. Check it out guys, that's pretty cool to see actually. All right, I think that's about it for my art. Um, it's kind of scattered all over the place too. I've, I've given away a lot of it and I don't know where a lot of the rest of it is. But uh, let me know how many of you guys are artists or what you guys do for hobbies and to express yourself. Um, I would love to know. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the comment section. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.